Morning, everybody. It's uh, Brian from Asher Hub. It's about 8.23 a.m. Eastern Time, April 5th, 2018. And uh, we're coming to you with a brand new trading video on Bitcoin. Uh, but if you guys have not seen us before, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell if you're on YouTube, and definitely get on over to Steam it and DTube. Links are down below. Um, and as always, what we always uh, request if you guys uh, like the video. Uh, so go down to that hand, hit that, uh, that thumbs up hand, uh, and um, even if you're not sure if you're going to like the video and you haven't heard, heard from us before, just hit it. And then if you don't like the video, just, just unclick it. Simple as that. <laughs> um, but it definitely helps us out and uh, keeps, this, keeps this train moving along. So um, let's just I'm gonna try to make this uh, video pretty short. Um, but as I've tried to do that many times before and failed, <laughs> so let's see how let's see how we get into this. So <clears throat> the name of the game for this uh, for this video is going to be uh, wedge uh, descending wedge. Um, and yes, I know a few people have mentioned this before, and um, I just haven't been able to interject it into the videos just yet because of basically time constraints. I don't really like the videos to get anything longer than 15 minutes, but um, uh, yeah, so wedge, descending wedge. And so we had drawn this red line a long time ago, and now I just drew this other red line right here, and it's exactly what we have. So uh, it's one way to count it is it could be an A, a B, a C, a D, <laughs> and an E. And normally the way in which these chart patterns work is that uh, wherever it bounces, wherever it, wherever it lands less, it basically bounces in that opposite direction, moving up. And you know, that, that, that could happen here. Um, and, and it may happen, it may play into what we were talking about for, uh, yesterday uh, as this A, B, and a C, right? We may have the, you know, the B come down um, and then we, and then uh, you know, then we shoot up out of this descending wedge as a C. And the C doesn't have to end here; uh, it could end up here. Uh, it could end, you know, basically lots of different places. <clears throat> so um, that's what we're looking at for right now. Uh, the next thing I want to show you is is this. Um, one hour resistance level the market came down it was right around here when we had spoke last so I just took that I took that line that we had drawn some time ago and I just extended it east or extended it forward in time okay the market bounced off off of this line it's then moved back up to the one hour resistance line about six thousand eight hundred and thirty uh, approximately right around that level um, and now it's coming and now it's coming back down again so uh, you know there's a few a few ways uh, uh, to, to count this um, but I would basically count this as um, as, uh, as as three ways uh, three waves I mean if this is going to be truly an ABC so this may be wave one this may have been wave two and we may be waiting for a wave three to come down to make this B um, now the B could be here the B could be here you know it could be all sorts of different places All right. Um, I don't really have any extensions that I like all that much right now I mean, you could just go ahead and just say, well, maybe if we just do a one for one, right? Yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe uh, this comes down to about this 5,981 level, which kind of makes sense because, you know, that's right about 6,000. And that's going to be a big mental, a big mental level because um, it also hits right here at this bottom, right? So that makes sense, right? That that could possibly be a target. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So next thing I want to show is that this was a line we had drawn some time ago, okay? As well, this this red line. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend it, right? Going to extend it. And what do we find? We find that the market has also um, ended right here, okay? Stopped right here. So there's a conjunction of these two. Uh, you know, uh, trend lines right here, okay. And th there's, 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 there's such a thing as just uh, called like um, uh, market symmetry um, that's out there, and this is this is part of that, okay. And <clears throat> um, it doesn't mean purely symmetrical. It just means like symmetrical in the sense that um, 
a lot of these support and resistance lines will converge and the market will um, basically assimilate to those convergence lines um, pretty often, believe it or not. <clears throat> so another way I'm using this line right here is that if the market were to come down, right, and touch this line, I would wait for, I would, I would expect it to go ahead and push through it pretty aggressively. Um, and I would, wa I, would, I would watch for it. And so this is kind of almost like a litmus test for me, you know, um, in, in order for me to kind of measure the, the, the market. If the market just stops right here on top of here, well, then wait a second. This adds a lot of strength to this line. Maybe this line should be something that should be propelled in the future, push forward in the future, um, where it could have some meaning in the future, okay? So this is kind of like a fact-finding mission. Um, and I, I do I do a fair amount of that. Um, that's why I do have a fair amount of lines going on, and I, I put them in the context of um, you know basically usability. Um, you know what's happened before in the past on this line, and um, where are we approximating on it uh, at this current time with regards to price. So another thing I want to mention here is that yes, we do have this bottom support line right here. We have the top of the wedge right here. And if the market then starts to go ahead, starts bouncing in between here, right? I mean, this is a right triangle. It's a bearish one, right? But it's still a right triangle where then we would look to possibly jump back down once, once, once this were to break, right? Um, so that's that's another thing, uh, another thing to look at there. Um, so I can go ahead and I'll extend this out even further. <coughs> so. Um, Another thing, too, is uh, we have the 200 moving average coming down. We have the 55 EMA coming down, and they're basically kind of uh, both going parallel, while we also have the top of this wedge, and we also have the top of the green. So we have a lot of resistance here, even more so than what we were talking about before, okay? A lot of resistance here. In conjunction is if we had take this red line here, right? Remember this red line, guys? And I extend this out. Right? I want to continue to extend, the, extend this out until we're, we're beyond it, right? So even if we were to go ahead and break up, um, chances are we're going to run into this red line again. And just as I, how I really didn't expect this to happen right here, I don't really have expect this to happen either. In other words, for us to shoot up above it. So maybe, you know, maybe the C is like here. And this is going to go ahead and this is going to show us, you know, a bit of the sentiment in the market. Um, because if, if we're able to pierce through here, right, well, depending on where we are with respect to time, well, this also, this top trend line here can also come into play. So I'm, I'm just trying to lay out kind of like a framework uh, for the future on where things possibly could be, you know, on the bullish side. On the bearer side, um, it's not, uh, you know, a lot of this also comes into uh, play, but also the fact that the bear side, like I mentioned, this line right here, are we going to just stop at it or is we, are we gonna just going to push right through it? My belief says we're going to push right through it, right? Because I believe this is an A, a B, and a C. Uh, also, I don't think we're really going to run up. So we only have two choices. If we don't go up, we either go sideways or we go down. There's just so long we can go sideways, right? Before we basically run out of room. And like I always say, you don't slip out the back door with these things really often at all, um, very infrequently. So meaning slip out the back door, meaning kind of just go sideways through these types of things. All right. So <clears throat> another thing is, um, <laughs> yes, yeah, somebody just said slip out the back, Jack. Um, another another old school uh, 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 song in conjunction to the uh, the one I was mentioning yesterday. Anyway, so um, another thing, too, is that we have this. <coughs> <coughs> RSI line. Remember this RSI line I drew ages ago. Market came down, tested it, bounced above it, pierced right through it, came to oversold territory, came back up, bounced right off of it, came back down. Right? I mean this this line is still in effect. Um, this this fifty line and. It is a lot of times in, in a lot of different markets. So it's not some magical line, um, but it is magical when, it, when the market is, is um, adhering to it. Um, next, Laguerre RSI. So Laguerre RSI has crossed over 
Um, have we crossed over yet? Definitively. Um, 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 85. No, the candle's still open, but we have 26 minutes left over, okay? And so, you know, Laguerre has been money. I mean, Laguerre has been great. You can almost close your eyes and just trade with Laguerre. Um, and if this thing were to close down below, it leads me to believe even more that we're going to go ahead and we're going to come back down. All right? Volume. What are we looking at? Volume. Volume is small. Small, 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 small. Okay? We had some larger sell volume here. Okay? And now we're just kind of plateauing as far as volume is concerned. Very, very, very small. Let's also go ahead and take a look at um, let's look at our friend OBV because we are down with OBV. Where is it? There we go. Okay, so OBV, I mean, just doesn't look good. OBV's got the flu, so um, I think OBV's got what I got. <clears throat> so. We have this, you know, this trend coming down. We pierced, we pierced above it, but I don't know. This is pretty steep as far as a decline, as far as OBV is concerned. I mean, yeah, we've had it before. Don't get me wrong, but um, you know, this this may continue the same kind of uh, trajectory, <clears throat> which is going to make it really low. I mean, we're kind of we're kind of pretty low right now. I mean, look at this where we are. We're at this. Call it 25,000 level, right? Yeah, I mean, this is this is still like right here. This is 78,000. This is 20,000. So, I mean, this gets us back down to like um, 2017, um, September of 2017. So... September 2017. Let's see where we're at there. Yeah, so when we're like in the beginning throws of this big bull trend. Okay, so I mean, a good thing about that is that yeah, we are kind of <coughs> excuse me hitting some of those lows. So, you know, begs the begs the question: How much lower can we go? And uh, yes, we can go can go lower. Um, we can definitely go lower. Um, my my biggest thing that I have, have my eye on right now is right here, this level right here of about 6,000. What's going to happen when we, when we get there? So let's update some of these lines. One hour resistance level stays the same. The four hour resistance uh, level comes into play now because we've actually been moving uh, down for a four hour basis for some time. So the four hour resistance level is... 7,061. Oh, look at that. I almost got it right on the money. <coughs> Excuse me. For our resistance, 7,000. I'll clean this up. And uh, that's really about it for right now. So it's kind of a wait and wait and see type of game um, as to what's going to happen. You know, I mean, as far as trade setups are concerned, I mean, this is a no-brainer right here. Um, as far as a short is concerned, <coughs> potential target could be that six thousand level, um, and you you know kind of put a stop loss stop loss somewhere right around here. Um, it's not a great um, profit to loss uh, ratio, but uh, it's all we got right now. On the uh, on the buy side, um, yeah, I mean, I'd be really skeptical because there's a lot of resistance here. I wouldn't really be looking to buy anything right now. Um, maybe if this thing were to dip down low uh, around this around the six thousand level, um, I would look to see if the market starts running up again and then maybe buy something. But if that's not the case, um, I would wait for it to get to down to the 6,000 level, okay? Wait for it to pierce through. Wait for the panic. Wait for the panic. Pick it up on the panic for it to rise back up to the 6,000 level, okay? That's my game plan. Anyway, um, 
that's about it for right now. I did not keep my promise, so my apologies. I think this video went on longer than I had wanted to. Yeah, 14 minutes. My God. Anyway, talk to you guys. Have a great day.